Psst. Hey, come on, man. Jimbo's back. Yowzer! It's that time. Radio was done with him. Four spouses had enough of her and him. Hopefully the third time is a charm. Get ready to have your ear holes violated. It's wild. It's crazy. It's time. It's the Jimbo and Jackie Show. That's right. Hello, hello. Violating your ear holes once again, Jackie. Oh, I love you in my ear hole, baby. It's the Jimbo and Jackie Show. Third time's a charm still. Episode nine. Happier nine. than ever. Hope you're happy with this podcast. We're having a blast. Yeah, we are. And to be honest, party people, episode nine almost didn't happen because... I almost died, man. Oh, no. That would be horrible. And you were there, but you were hanging out in uh, uh, in the back, and you wouldn't even seen what would have happened. I know. It was Mother's Day. I was in my own world. Listen to this party, people. <laughs> we went to uh, the Dodgers oh. game, and uh, we're in the suite on the first base side. And I don't care how old you are, when a foul ball starts coming your way, you kind of lose your shit. You're like thinking, I'm getting this ball. <laughs> I'm going to prove myself. I'm getting on TV. I'm going to have the commentary. I uh, have all the announcers say stuff like, there's a lucky fan and a great catch. <laughs> oh, look at him as he gives a ball to his wife or girlfriend. I hope it's the same person. <laughs> but, uh, man, we had a blast out there. But it was coming in our direction, Ashton. I tell you, that's our sound guy. And... I'm like thinking, I think I got a chance at this. I was so excited when you told me what was happening. I'm going for it, party people. So I start to lean over, and I'm only 5'7", five, 5'8", five, with a good hair day. What? Yeah. And uh, I'm leaning over, and all of a sudden I realize I'm extending a little too far. The <laughs> left foot comes up, and it's almost like one of those, like, uh, Von Dom moves where you got the foot planted and the one leg is way up. I'm reaching. The foul ball comes within like three inches of my hand, bounces off the scoreboard, oh. shoots back down to the first level, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I was able to get my. That's the way the ball went. Thank God it wasn't me. But uh, I almost went from. From the, the Dodgers suites to first deck really, really quick. So oh, I hate I missed it. Oh, uh, but I am here, so let's pop the cork, get the champagne flowing, oh, and the conversation going on episode my nine. My favorite part. That's right. What we do is uh, uh, tell them a little bit about Shamsky's, Jackie. Well, we put a little shot of uh, whiskey, and yeah. then we finish it off with champagne. Shamsky. And it's a Shamsky. We're going to have to have a Shamsky party somewhere someday. Yeah, we, we did Bloody Mary party. And we're going to make everybody Uber because it gets you fucked up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the cork. Yeah! Yay, and the crowd goes wild. Episode 9, feeling fine. Jackie's husband is a swine. <laughs> That's I'm a, a little ride. nervous. I don't have my little shot glass. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eyeball. You're gonna it. eyeball it. I'm gonna all right. eyeball it. Nice. I think we're all right. There you go. Let me fill that up. Once again, we like it when you drink along with the show. Uh, if you're driving in your car, like we said, we're not gonna pass judgment, but the cops do. So yeah. try not to do it. Be smart, right, Jackie? Be smart. Don't start. Oh, uh, cheers, gorgeous, to episode nine. Cheers, beautiful. Thanks for being mine. Oh, always. Oh, man. And I'm feeling a little bit weird on the way here. I didn't like this party, people. We were in a fast lane, and uh, there's a Prius in front of us going 64. <laughs> Ashton, what would you do if you were in a fast lane, and a Prius is in front of you, and it's going 64? <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. You got to pull out the Mr. Magoo horn and say, get out of the way, man. <laughs> plus, plus, when I was getting ready, I ran out of deodorant. So, episode nine, I'm really gonna find out if it's strong enough for a man, but made for a woman, <laughs> using the, sec uh, the secret. Are you having a good day so far, Mama? I am having a good day, baby. You're Are a little you? bit giggly. Yeah. You want to hear a fun fact? What's a fun fact? What do you got for I me? I didn't know this, but speaking of driving, if you're driving 60 miles per hour and you sneeze. Your eyes are closed for 50 feet. Really? Yeah. Wow, I've a, never heard that. A study shows it. So you know me sometimes with my allergies and stuff. Yeah. Going nutso, <laughs> sneezing like a madman, 
So you can imagine, I, I, I probably had my eyes closed for like tw- 200 feet at some points while we're Gee, driving. That's why I drive most of the time. That's true, and we appreciate that. You want to hear another fun random fact as I we do. kick off show number nine? Guess how many ingredients are in a McNugget? Oh, boy. In a chicken McNugget. That's right. I'm McLovin' it. I um, would say... I like to say I'm McRib for Jackie's pleasure some nights. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the clean show. Nah, no such thing on the Jimbo and Jackie show. <laughs> so a chicken nugget, how many ingredients? I'm going to say 15. <clears throat> Ashton, you got a guess? Guess how many ingredients are in one chicken McNugget? Uh, yeah, five. 40 different ingredients in a McNugget, man. What? That's what makes it so McFucking good. Oh my God. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's does. Oh my God. I don't know if I'll ever eat another one. Unless they sponsor the show and then I'm all about the chicken nuggets, people. I love them. They're my favorite. Hey, you wonder, I wonder. I, I should have looked up. I wonder if chicken's even in one of the one of the ingredients <gasps> in it. Wow. We, need, we do need to look that up. It's probably a swine butthole. Hooves. No, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Chick-fil-A uses real chicken because I have a, a family member that has a chicken farm in North Carolina, and they have they get the chickens from their farm. That's right. I found that we out. We actually visited them. Yes, we did. That was a cool visit. Yeah. Can I, uh, I got a fast food confessional. Oh, boy. You haven't had it lately, have you? I have. What'd you have, baby? Well, remember the other weekend when uh, you were gone for most of the day and I was in charge of our little army of kids? Yes. Our little tribe? We actually went and got a 100 McNugget pack and we polished what? it. What? <laughs> we were the starving. She'll set you free. That's what I hope, man. <laughs> I can't believe your kids didn't rat you out. Oh, uh, well, I made sure they didn't this time. They usually do. That's usually the first thing want, they want to do is rat us out, man. Yeah, but there it is. That's your fun facts to kick off number nine. 40 different ingredients in a McNugget, and they're McFucking delicious. Oh, my God. Well, I'm really curious if they actually have chicken in them now. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look that up. We'll All find right. out by the end of the show. I tell you what, that's what we'll do. There we but go. But I think it's time to move on to our next segment, Jackie. Our weekly high. Highs and lows, baby. Yes, we are. I love that sound. Our high would have to be that uh, I bought Jackie a set of brand new golf clubs for Christmas. Yes. And we put it off a while to use them. Well, and I needed them for a long time. I've had the same clubs for, what, 15, 16 years? Yeah, and they were pretty bad. My bag was broke. Jim would always carry it under his arm and carry his. Yep. So we finally got a chance. We busted out golfing at what the coolest thing ever. Check this out. We uh we had to go to a golf tournament Friday morning. Yeah, we hosted a little bit there. Yeah, we were out there in full force for the Jimbo and Jackie show. Yep, third time's the charm. And it was cold and misty. It was sucky. Uh. But Jackie was so excited that she uh, ordered us these golf shorts. So we're like the the only there's like there's like four of us assholes out on the golf course out of 110 people wearing shorts while it's raining. But uh, we look cool. Oh, we looked badass actually, and we were feeling pretty damn cool too. <laughs> but the coolest thing it was an awesome tournament. But then we got a call from Big Dave from uh, the Chad Cash Show from Ramp yes. Studios. Be sure, why don't you check him out? Go to your favorite platform to subscribe and download our podcast. And the Chadcast. And uh, the Duddy one, man. Yes. Feeling good with Duddy. But uh, he said, hey, get up to Vegas right now. Because he knows we fly by the seat of our pants sometimes. We do do that. So we left the golf tournament, Ashton, jumped in the car, and went straight to Vegas in the same... We tore off, and we got up to Top Golf by six o'clock, and just started swinging again. Yeah. In case you've never been to Top Golf, basically it's uh it's basically they put GPS on the golf balls, and you get points for hitting them at certain targets. I was so afraid it was going to be a lot like a putt putt golf or something, but oh my god, no, Top Golf is badass. Yeah, they got one it's in so Scottsdale, Arizona, Las Vegas, yeah, a few other places. But right now we don't care because that's only two places we go. Yeah. And uh, one cool thing that uh, Jackie and one of the guys in the crew ordered. Um, was I didn't even know they did this. 
Why don't you set this up, Jackie? Then we got a videotape if you're watching. So they've got a little thing there where you can pay the girls and they'll uh, they'll go to the. You back. paid them. It wasn't done with love. Well, I did it. What you got to pay for? One love of your in fans Vegas? did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they spell out your name in the back and then they come out like a marching band with Jimbo, Jimbo. Oh yeah. That's right, Daddy O. Here it is. And they got a guy with the drum set. And look at that top go. And there's me dancing. Look Dude, at you. I don't even know what you call that move. I forget. It's called the white boy can't dance. <laughs> but yeah, the girls each had a sign with a letter. How J-I-M-B-O. cool is that? I M B O. Look at you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That was so cool. So that was our Friday. Who says dreams don't come true? Who says it? That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a cool moment. Thank you so much, Jackie, for doing that. That was very cool. But like I said, I did, and one of your fans did. Oh, but you taught, taught them, you told them how to spell it correctly, right? I did. Right? I did. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know what? We're going to talk uh, a little bit more about Vegas as our field trip. We still got to do our, our weekend low right now, and uh, it happened in Vegas. Well, yes, it did on the way on the way out, but we were still there. All right, here's the scenario, people. And it's never happened to us before in Vegas. No, but there was a low. There was a low. Yeah. I was uh, trying to get some footage for the show and for... A bunch of friends of ours who are Raider, Raider fans. fans. The Raiders. So we've been like, uh, every time we go, we drive by the stadium just to show people. Give them an update. Yeah. Because um, whether you like them or not, it's badass that there's going to be a football team in Las Vegas, Nevada. I think. And it's going to be our second favorite team. Yes. And thank God it's an AFC team because me and her are both... Devout Minnesota Vikings fans, for better or worse. Yes. And we'll talk about that another time. But uh, we, uh, I wanted to drive by and videotape the progress of the new stadium. And uh, this is how it went down right here. Go ahead. Check this out. There's audio. If you're watching it, there's video, too. It always gets a positive and split reaction when you say, Raiders. Oh, there's a cop. <laughs> But do you love the Raiders, which most of you don't? You guys think it's kind of cool to see a new stadium being built. Oh, that's me. Oh, <laughs> and I'm getting pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you know, Look in the mirror. <laughs> Being on the phone, though, if you're just videoing, I guess so. I know. <laughs> Daddy got a big old ticket. Damn. Round about it. I would have just had it mounted on something. Would have saved us 50 bucks. Next time I'll record. Here's something to learn, people. I wasn't texting, I wasn't talking on the phone, but I was videotaping. And I still got a ticket, even though in the explanation, he didn't say you can't videotape while you're driving. But in a way, he did. Well, I've never oh. been. <laughs> Pull over. Yeah. Pull over. <laughs> Man. Oh. Damn. Well, and the one thing uh, I was excited about, because I've gotten a couple of tickets being on my cell phone. Yep. T- Jackie's more of the ticket meister than me. And what's so stupid of me is you even put the uh, the little Bluetooth and sound thing, little microphone in my car, yeah. so I don't have to be on my phone. But me like a dummy, didn't hook it up. Yeah. Ticket was $500 twice. Yeah. So I was so excited when they said 50 bucks. I'm like, yes. Oh, I know. So if you're in Vegas, just so you know... If I, I should have just handed you the phone. I know. I don't know why we didn't do that. I don't know. Hey, Sean, you're doing our video. If you could, can you start the video up again? And I'll tell you where to stop it because you could see the cop right as I'm passing. If I would have waited a little bit longer, he's right there by the bridge. I'll tell you when. It always gets a positive oh. and split 
reaction. Right Greatest. there. Oh, right there in the corner. There. I see him. I smell bacon. <laughs> I kind of saw him out of the corner of my eye, and I should have just handed you the phone, or I should have said, Jackie, grab the phone. When did you notice that? Like like pretty quick right away, but I was so worried about getting material for our Facebook and the show that I'm like going, maybe we won't see if I... Because I kind of extended it out towards your side of the car. Yeah. But uh, Poncharello over there uh, basically saw that I was holding it. I and- never even <laughs> saw him. Respect, man. You got any maple for that bacon? (laughs) (laughs) So 50 bones it's going to cost us because of that bit right there. But now it's a tax write-off because it's on our show, right? (laughs) And I wish I could have, I wish we could have shared the audio that I got with him talking to you and you scrambling trying to find the... (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Find the proof of insurance. Oh, yeah, but uh, that's... uh, that was uh, definitely the weekly low. Low, low, low. Jackie, let's do our next segment. All right, baby. Our weekly... What are we doing next? We did highs and lows already. Oh, we did? Yeah. Field trip. There you go. <laughs> the field trip. That's right. Cheers, gorgeous. Cheers, baby. We had some fun in Vegas, even though you, you heard part of it that we went up and did top golf straight from a golf tournament. Yes. Which I recommend doing. Just go bonsai once. Just do everything in one day. Yep. Uh, I don't think we finished our high for Vegas, baby. I think there was a whole thing there. That's why I kind of paused for a minute. Oh, well, no, it's going to go in our field trip. So I guess we're kind of oh. we're kind of cluster fustering them I'm together. Sorry. You know. So continue. So field trips. <laughs> we're still in Vegas, field people. Trip. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I think for this segment, we're going to show something from the Dodger game. Why not? For the hell of it, let's do this. Here's Jackie and I recreating Lady and the Tramp with the Dodger dog. If you're watching, <laughs> boomerangs are so funny. I look like I'm in such pain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about boomerang videos, if you haven't messed around with them, they basically, it's a six second video. And what it does is it kind of goes forward and backward, forward and backward. And if you go to our Instagram, subscribe now to the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's the charm. You can see all this little fun stuff that we put up there. And uh, But our field trip and weekly highs and lows kind of are kind of lumped together because we love Vegas. Yeah, we sure do. We tore it up in Vegas, didn't we? Yeah, 24 hours we tore it the hell up. So after Top Golf with Big D and some of the crew from Reamp Studios and whatnot, yeah, uh, he said, "Hey, let's uh, uh, go back, go check in." We stayed at the Cosmopolitan, gorgeous, beautiful, and we were going to regroup. We're going to regroup and go to dinner. So we go back to the Cosmopolitan and got a little time to kill. Yep. And uh, it had a balcony, guys. When Jim and I check into a hotel, we check out the whole place. We open drawers, if anybody left anything, look yeah. under the beds, <laughs> open the cabinets. Yeah. Had the most beautiful looking robes, and I touched it. I was like, oh, my goodness, that's soft. It was good. So basically, Jackie wanted to strip down immediately and just put the robe on. And that's what I did. I don't know what it was. It was like it was like as comfortable as I can imagine, like if you were in your mom's womb. Jeez. I mean, it was like, it was like, it fit perfectly. It was snug. It felt so good. Oh, it felt so good. I felt rich, baby. I did too. I felt like a somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and I always put the air to the lowest I can get it so it's a little chilly. Yeah, you boost it up a little bit because you know you ain't fucking paying for it, right? <laughs> so it's got a balcony. Plus, guys, this is a great design. It had a square bathtub. I've never seen one before. So you're kind of closer. You get to sit up a little bit more. Look out the window. I was right by the window. Looking at the strip in the pool. So I immediately start looking for something to make bubbles. Yeah. And we found it. Shampoo. Yep, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't provide anything, but it still worked. Oh, yeah. It was kicking it old school. So we decided, uh, let's, f- Mama, you want to take a bubble bath? Heck yeah. yeah. We got time before the dinner. So we. Who uh, says no to a bubble bath? I'm telling right? you, people, bubble baths. I mean, you started as a kid. I remember, uh, did you take, did you have to take bubble baths with any of your siblings? No, never. Now, I, think, I don't think we could afford bubbles. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Except farts in the tub. As a youngin. <laughs> <laughs> 
I never remember taking a bubble bath as a child. Uh, well, my pops, Fat Poo, used to work for uh, Helene Curtis. So oh, we would yeah. get Mr. Bubble. And Dang. we, oh, we were spoiled. But I'd have to take a bath with my brother. And he didn't care at the time because you don't know. Yeah. But now I'm taking bubble baths with Jackie, which I really like. <laughs> and it gets a little bit crazier, too. So we decide, okay, let's fill up let's this tub. Let's draw a tub. Yep. Yeah, we got some time. So I dump the shampoo in, we fill it up, and we decide to kill some time on the balcony. Yeah, what'd you do on the balcony? I straddled you. Yeah, I did reverse. <laughs> yeah, boy! I'm telling you, people, there's nothing better than looking at the strip and fucking the one you love. I've never seen your wiener stand up taller. <laughs> It was pretty happy at that that point. I think it was just the uh, the whole joy of golfing and finally getting to see you naked and being on a balcony in Vegas looking at the strip. He had to wait so long. <laughs> I feel bad for you sometimes, but I was ready for to give you a rocket ride. Wow. Basically. You did. Yo! Oh, DLR baby! <laughs> So, but I mean, we're waiting for the tub to fill up because you don't want to sit in a tub while it's filling. And so the the little chair we're on, you could see the tub in the window. So I kept poking up. I'm like, up nope, and down. You not, should get poking. That's right. Yep, not 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 full yet. We can right. keep on going. So we kept going and yep, going. Yep, yep. And uh, at after I don't know how much time. Yeah. Finally, Jim gets a text. Hey, where you guys at? We're at dinner. I was like, yeah. Oh crap! So I had to do my finishing move. You know. Yeah. Woo! Ric Flair style. <laughs> <laughs> on the balcony at the Cosmopolitan. So we go inside. Jim's like, come on, Mama. We, we were supposed to be there 45 minutes ago. Come on, come on. Oh, we were I'm that like, late. Yeah, we were Ooh. super late. I didn't know it was that late. And so I go over. I'm like, oh, crap. We didn't plug the tub. We didn't ah! plug the... <laughs> I'm like, why isn't this shit filled yet? That's why it wasn't filling up, because we didn't plug the tub. So Jim's going, Mama, just put some panties on. I'm like, Jim, I at least got to run a rag through it. Which is Jackie's so, Southern saying of the week. That's people. my Southern saying of the week. We're Honey, com- run a rag through it right quick. And now, what does that mean exactly for some people who are kind of guessing? It's like you're a whore. Wash it right quick and get out the door. <laughs> that's kind of what it's like. It's like, Honey, run a rag through it. <laughs> So I'm like, I got to at least dip it in this water. So I'm, I'm in the tub, splashing up, and Jim's standing there. Splashing up your honey pot, your yeah. little kitty cat. <laughs> Jim's standing there with his wiener sticking. I'm like, are you going to at least dip your wiener in here for a minute? <laughs> it's like, geez <laughs> almighty. So this is a beautiful uh, visual for our party people out there. <laughs> Jackie is in the tub, running a rag through it, <laughs> and... Thank God I've done some CrossFit. I could do squats pretty good. You know, I've done kettlebells and squats. So there's me with my, uh, with Big Jim and the twins teabagging. <laughs> the ba- <laughs> Just washing the balls in the joint. Oh. The ball joint. And we had kind of decided we weren't going to go to dinner, but then when we got the text, where are you guys at? It's like, oh, crap. Yeah, we better hurry up and go. So... I run a rag through it, get my suitcase. I'm throwing shit everywhere. And I teabag. I'm doing squats on your leg and next into the water, getting it clean. And he's looking at me aggravated like, come on, mama, we're late. I'm like, really? Yeah, if you're going to, you're, you're walking a rag through it. You said run a rag through it. <laughs> so I just throw on whatever with little flats, get out to the strip. These girls, and I know better in Well, here's Vegas. the thing, too. Wait, first, I, we didn't have our, we, obviously, we weren't going to drive because we've been drinking mm-hmm. since about right, so we called 7 a.m. Yep, so we called the Uber. So we got the Uber. We get out, we're getting our way down as Jackie runs a rag through it and stuff, and, and she's looking fine. She and doesn't give herself another credit. dressed to a T, hair perfect, makeup, all the sparkles on all yeah. the dresses. But you still look great, but I, I know like, what you mean. They were ready to club. We yeah. were ready to just. I look like who did it and ran. Well, you did. <laughs> you did. And so you lived up to what the, what it looked like. <laughs> but then all of a sudden we're waiting for our Uber and all of a sudden my phone dies. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, I forgot to look at what kind of car it's going to be. I didn't know what to even look for. Yep. So we're like going, well, damn. So we're like looking for like different Ubers <laughs> pulling up and we just say, ah, oh, we're running so late. Let's just grab a cab. Yeah. This is our field trip in Vegas. So we grab a cab. Yep. And 
Why don't you take over the story? So we grab a cab. We have a bottle of champagne in our hands because oh, we I brought that. it. After yeah. we ran a rag through it, we grabbed a bottle of champagne. Because we were going to drink it in the bubble bath, but we didn't. So we just took it on down no. with us. I teabagged the bathtub. We grabbed a <laughs> bottle of champagne. We're waiting for Uber. Phone dies. Let's grab a cab. So we get in the cab in the back. We're cruising around. And it's like it's taking a little bit of time. And I see him speaking to another cab. I said, is that your friend? Is he telling you to take a different way? He said, yeah, yeah, accident. I was like, oh, that's cool. And so do a little turn, and it's just for like 20 minutes in a cab. And we didn't even leave our hotel yet. It went out the hotel. We hit an accident, turned around, hit another accident. And what's a cab fare at right there? It's like 19-something, and I'm like... It was 19-something, and we were in the same exact spot when we left. Well, and we didn't realize until we got the hell out of the cab. Well, what'd you well, tell... Uh, Tell the cabbie what you said. Uh, tell everybody what you told the cabbie. So I told the cab driver, I said, uh, is that thing going to keep keep going? He goes, yes. I was like, oh, we're out. We yeah. ain't making it to dinner. Because we were going downtown Vegas to Fremont Street. And so we're still by Cosmo. We got a bunch of cars surrounding us. We're waiting for a light. All I reached the cars. in my pocket, Ashton. And this was, this, <laughs> I said, I said, bro, all I got is 13 bucks. We're fucking out of here. And I, I, I threw the, the cabbie money we open the doors, grab the bottle of champagne, and we're looking like these vagrants, froggers, going between. Yeah, is it was that like, what yeah, it, is? it was human frogger on the Vegas <laughs> Strip. Me and Jackie, as Jackie just got done running a rag through it, I just got done teabagging, doing squats, and talk about. And thank God I had on flats too. <laughs> and when we get on the sidewalk, make that right turn. Freaking Cosmos right there. I'm right like, there. Oh my God, I'm so glad we got out. So we paid 13 bucks just to hurry up our love session, just to try to meet uh, Big D and everybody. Yeah. And it didn't happen. We tried. Mama tried. And he had even ordered us a bone in ribeye. So I, I was hungry for steak <laughs> until we got home. I know. <laughs> but you got the tube steak, everybody. Ho! <laughs> but now it's time to move on to our next segment, Jackson. Oh, 50 and fucked. Yep. That's what we do. <laughs> 50 and fuck. Can you pour me another Shamsky, Gorgeous? I would, lo- I would love nothing more. I love that. I love that about you. Oh, wow. Well, you're my favorite wife. What happened here? Uh-oh. Oh, we lost the... Oh! Oh, oh, boy. Our cork uh, kind of broke in half if you're watching it, but I'm going to get it. You got it, beautiful. It's gone. You did it. You did it. Man, it smells good. A friend of ours made us moonshine on episode nine. Hey. Mm-hmm. Our 50 and fuck segment, while we were in Vegas... Some of the crew wanted to go to a strip club, and we didn't quite make it. They all wanted to go. They all wanted to go to the strip club. I was there with a bunch of dudes, and I love it. I love hanging out with guys. You guys are fun. We got a good crew. And you're one of the guys with better parts. All the guys dig you, too. And they're just waiting for me to fuck up so you can be four times a charm. Oh, crazy. But uh, being 50 and fucked, I'm in my 50s. Strip clubs are sometimes a little bit weird to me now. I noticed that for the past year. Not always, but with the strip clubs, um, they're like at least half my age now. Yeah. As we look at a a picture of me, (laughs) half my age, there I am with the Ric Flair locks. Oh my God, you're hot. That's when I first started in the radio back in the day. Half my age right now. Okay. What's your shirt say? Ashton, would you fuck me? I'm just kidding. (laughs) It says, Hey, Hey, Bombs Away. It was a friend's band named Baron Von Rock, but they had a song called, Hey, Hey, Bombs Away. It was two brothers, and they were the only guys in the band. Wow, that's a badass picture, baby. Baron Von Rock, if you're out there, let's party again, man. Let's do a show together. But it's so weird now, because they're half my age, and sometimes I feel they look at me creepy. And here's Jackie at oh, half her geez. age. <laughs> Fine as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, do you oh, hate boy. it that I sometimes I get weird about strip clubs being in my 50s? Yeah, because I still love to go. I still like to go. I do too. It's fun. But I think we got too many daughters now, so it's a different perspective for me. Yeah. And like they're half my age. I hate to admit it. Not that I won't go. But sometimes I overthink it, and I get too many emotions going on. Well, my favorite are the ones up in Vegas where the girls are like, 
in their 40s and up. Yeah. I, they're fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a mill factory. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like those girls. They're fun. I feel better because sometimes with you when we watch porn, you don't like to see the young girls. Oh, no, I hate it. I, yeah. won't, I don't, yeah. So I, I get like that same. I get that same feeling sometimes with certain strip clubs. Yeah. Vegas a little bit different because you're right. You do get the older, uh, you get the cougars. <laughs> you get the milfs, you know what I mean? Did you ever think about stripping back in the day? Let's look at that picture again of Jackie back in the day. Uh, This is like, uh, how old are you right there about? So I was probably 26. Kind of like a Gloria Stefan look, would you say? Yeah. Were you feeling sexy that day you took that picture? Uh, Because you got one strap off the shoulder. You're giving us the... A little bit, but not like in my glory. Is it weird doing a photo shoot? Because I've only done... It was fun. It was fun? It was fun, but I didn't feel as sexy as I think I look now. You never think you you look that great at a certain point, or that's how I am. Now, did did you ever think about becoming a stripper? For a little bit, I was a camel girl, so we would go to (laughs) all the bars. Camel toe girl, what? (laughs) I was a camel girl. I'd give out cigarettes, for God's sakes. Back in the day. Back in the day. That's how old we are. We're 50 and fun. We used to give away cancer. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yes. What is this, <laughs> Smoke my camel, sweet drip britches. <laughs> now, what would you say? As uh, gave away, everybody probably took a cigarette from Oh, him. yeah. They would, have, uh, they would have games and stuff, and you would just give out. I had a little thing, kind of like the cigarette Rose Girls in Vegas. Uh-huh. And you just go around and give them. It was, uh, you get camels or what's the green ones? Uh, pa- not Paul Malls. Uh, is it? Uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, menthol ones. Yeah, it was menthol True green, cigarettes. True green menthols? Cools. 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 There it is. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Ashton. Look at that. Score. Sean's credit. Ah, (laughs) Cool cigarettes. So we went to a strip bar and uh, giving out cigarettes. And uh, the fellow who owned it was a friend of a friend. He's like, you girls want to get up and dance? Because we don't have that many dancers tonight. Uh, The first one. Yeah. So me and my girlfriend, Danielle, get up there and we start busting a move. Well, I turn around and she's on the ground humping. I'm like, "Oh, Mama, getting into it." She's t- she's tr- having tryouts. Yeah, I'm like, "Wow!" And she was doing good. And I know Danielle. She's your blonde friend, right? Yeah. And so after we got off the stage, she goes, "I said, girl, you were turning up." She said, "Girl, I fell. I had to play that shit off." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never freaking oh. forget it. I about lost it. But was that the only time you ever thought of it? That's the only time. That's they it. actually asked me, and I'm like, no. No, not having no, it? Because I looked like that at the time. So. Oh, well, you, you could still strip. I'd love to have a 50 and over strip club. I think oh, so. Oh, my. I've, I've thought that. Yeah. Maybe we do that, beautiful. We may have to look into that one. See, and even uh, girls loving to go to male strippers, or n- there's not a lot of male stripper places to go to. They're really hard to find. Yeah. I don't know any around here. They're in Vegas. But the girls are always funner. Because they get more into it. Because the guys can get creepy. I've, I've seen the creepy guys, but I like to be the guy that sits on the rail and have fun with the girls and just try to uh, do something instead of just staring with your tongue out like, because uh, <laughs> you see that look. Well, the male strippers can be fun, but if you want a private dance, it's like, oh, $1,000, please. Oh, good like, Lord. No, thank you. It's like, you should pay me. It's like, let's go back downstairs. Those girls are cooler. Can I tell you something? What? Me and uh, my buddy, uh, I used, he used to be on the radio with us. His name was Filthy Sanchez. Oh, yes. Back when, uh, go ahead, Sean, pull up, pull up me and my prime, maybe. Back in this time, me and my buddy, uh, Filthy Sanchez, we wanted to start doing bachelorette parties and thought it'd be funny to maybe <laughs> do private parties and, and like, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say do jokes, but like do some sort of games with the bachelorettes. And we thought we were going to be like a tag team of strippers. Why didn't you do it? To just uh, too drunk and didn't pursue dreams, I guess. <laughs> I, think, I think you need to do it now, honey. You're so much freaking fun. Absolutely. You're crazy. You You're are crazy. you are fun. Girls would love you. I'll do it for one of your girls trips one day. Okay. <laughs> no, you need to do it. No. Make right, us be some my manager. No. I will be your manager. I need to lose about 10 pounds, maybe 15, you know. I don't want to uh I think about 15 pounds. No, you, you 
you have the total personality and body for it. What's funny is my friend Danielle and I, we used to go to the Mel Strippers every Wednesday night. Yeah. We would roll nickels because it was nick, or we would roll quarters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was $3 to get in. So we would go cash in our quarters, get the money, pay our $3, and we had a few bucks to tip. And it was nickel drinks. Oh, damn. For girls. Nickel drinks? Nickel drinks. Hell yeah. Yep. I like that. We had so much fun. And then maybe by the end of the night, it was nipple drinks, if you know what I'm talking about. (laughs) All right, we're going to take a little break right now. But coming up, we got this week in the history of our relationship. I got a new version of Burp Wars. I want to try something by you. You do? So please, please stick around. It's episode nine. Don't forget, go to your favorite platform to subscribe and download podcasts because it's the most positively podcast on planet Earth. Yes, it is. We'll be right back. It's the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time still a charm. More to come. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's still going on. It's episode nine. What? The Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time still a charm. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. We hope you're listening to us on your favorite platform. Tell all your friends that, hey, I guess we're on 30 of them, Jackie. Oh, my. You guys just need to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. There's 30 different ways for us to violate your ear hole. All you got to do is pick the one you want. Subscribe to that platform and download the podcast and enjoy the show. We're proud to be part of the Reamp Studios podcast team. So excited. Which has such great shows as Feeling Good with Daddy. Yep. The ch- and the, the Chadcast. That's right. And when we started episode nine, I threw out a random fact. I told you that there is 40 ingredients in the McNuggets. Wow. And you asked... Is chicken one of them? Yep. How'd you say it? You said it better than that. I said, honey, is chicken one of them? And, uh, Something like that. During the break, uh, our, our, our staff over there used their Googler. Ashton, is chicken one of the 40 ingredients in a McNugget? Well, after uh, the major research that me and Sean did back here. Yes. Uh, there's chicken. There's chicken. <laughs> All right, rejoice. <laughs> so, that's a, so they could call it a chicken McNugget. I bet you there's some sort of law that if there wasn't chicken in it, they couldn't call it a chicken McNugget. They just call it a nugget. Nugget. I bet they put a uh, chicken essential oil in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you just had nuggets, you'd probably be feeling good with Duddy on that Ram podcast. Is what we're talking about. <laughs> but that's great news, isn't it? That yes. there is chicken in the chicken McFucking. And I gotta be honest, I'm so hungry for them now. I know. Damn it. Remember that documentary, Super Size Me? Yes. That documentary, documentary, the pup, my, pup. <laughs> Wow, go ahead, say it. That documentary, Super Size Me, made me want McDonald's so much more. Because <laughs> I thought the guy was a wuss. His girlfriend was a vegetarian. He wasn't much of a meat eater. And he went on that bender of the McDonald's for like 30 days or yeah. something like that. And uh, I was watching that, watching him puke after eating Big Macs because uh, his tum tum couldn't handle it. Yeah. I was like, "Give it to me, big boy. I'll take care of that." <laughs> I tell you what, when I was pregnant with my son, mm-hmm. every day for lunch, every I had, day, every day I had a McDonald's Big Mac, a large fry, a large Diet Coke, and a chocolate fudge sundae. Damn! Every day for lunch. Every day. Every day for lunch. How much did it cost back in the day? Oh, Lord. Do you remember I, mean, it? You I didn't, do not remember. You don't remember the price? If you no. got the same thing every day? I do. I couldn't no? tell you. Did you make the hubby bring it? That was hubby no. number one. You yep. and got Hubby it? number one. Because we were on the base. There was McDonald's on the base. So oh, okay. my girlfriend and I would just go over and get it. Military girl, knocked up, yeah. wanted McDonald's. <laughs> there you go. All right. It's uh, the second part of episode nine. Oh, sobriety checkpoint. Jackie, oh. you go first. What's the saying of the show you got to say to check our sobriety? The most positive podcast on planet Earth. Go to the judges. Let's see. Are they yes. liking? Oh. oh, I thought I had it that time. I think you get too excited too quickly. It's like you you feel like you got to go uh, 60 out of the gate. You do I have up. to do I have to do it like a uh, uh what's the little thing with the hot dog? Oh, like Boomerang? Yeah, do I have to do oh, a Boomerang stuff? People are watching that like that uh, show. Or no, not Boomerang. What? The slow motion on your phone. The oh. most positive. Not that slow. Okay. But you don't have to. You get you get too excited out of the gate. 
The yeah, most positive me. podcast on planet Earth. <laughs> that was better, I think. Let's go to the judges. Nope. <laughs> Let me give it a shot. Excuse me, Ossifer. Let me finish this beer for a second. <laughs> the most positively podcast on planet Earth. Yeah, you you made it, though. But you should practice during the week. I, well, next time I will. Is that good, officer, or am I going to get another ticket like I did on my video We should taping? have given him a sticker. Oh. Dang it. Damn, I bet that would have gotten us out. Gotten that, us. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my ID from now on. Next time I get pulled over, we're just going to pull out a Jimbo and Jackie show <laughs> podcast sticker. Hey, wasn't Or the- just show them our koozie. <laughs> it's probably bad to show you the cop your koozie and he sees you've been drinking. <laughs> wasn't there a famous girl here uh, within the past couple of years that got pulled over? Do you know who I am? Oh, yes. Who, me? Yeah, it was the girl from Legally Blonde, wasn't it? That was a while ago. Yeah, and anyway. they still yeah. got uh, Reese, her. Reese Witherspoon. Reese yeah. Witherspoon, yeah. and I love her. And yeah. I, I would never give her a ticket. Ah, uh, that was surprising <laughs> that they did. But I guess when she you didn't act like a snot, she was kind of yeah. acting like a snot. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I would never act like a snot to You would never, because that's not your thing. All right, it's time for our next segment, Jackie. You know where the show's at right now in Episode 9? This week in the history of our beautiful relationship. That's right. Jackie and I have been together over seven years. Yeah, you usually know it to the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, the second. Ask me tomorrow morning and I'll tell you. Okay. So this is what happened this week in the history of our relationship. The Jimbo and Jackie Show. Third time's a charm, and this is his favorite portion, in case anybody was curious. Uh, we went on a little hike. We live in Grand Tarachi. <laughs> That's right. It's in Redlands. <laughs> it's a nice little community, about 10 minutes from uh, the Mission Inn. And uh, where we live, they got something called Blue Mountain. Yeah. And uh, they open it up for hiking every now and then. And sometimes people hike when they're not supposed to. We always hike at that time. But they are building the trail to make it legal all the time. Are eventually, they? yeah. Cool. Uh, we went on a hike, just Jackson and I. And it takes about. It's a good hike. It's pretty steep. It is steep. Uh, I'm a runner, and this hike's hard. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get up it. I would yeah. say, and uh, it's a good one. It is. And we like it, and we were just so excited. I even we, packed a little picnic lunch. She did. She's like, you know what? Let's have a picnic. We'll get to the top of Blue Mountain and just enjoy the view. The view's incredible because oh. you can look into Merino Valley on one side. Yeah. You get to see uh, Mount Baldy the other way. Yeah. And then you get a pretty good view towards Palm Springs. You don't get to quite see it. Yeah. But, but you can kind of see towards... You know you- so big. What's that? What's the big? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's all right. It's okay. You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Have another drink like us, Ashton. But uh, you get to see you, Kaipa. How about that? Stu Kaipa. There you go. As Stu we like Kuiper. to call it. Yep, Stu is out there. We're trying to get him on the show more, but he's like uh, old as fuck and sometimes doesn't want to leave his garage. <laughs> People always ask me, what's Stu doing right now? Yeah. I said, he's probably living a high life in the garage, watching some sports. Yep. Someone asked me at the county today. Yeah. He's kind of retired, living the good life. Yeah. Gave his uh, 40 plus years to the beautiful radio community, violating your ear hole. Great voice. Rock the empire. Yeah. It was awesome to work with him, but we'll get him on the show every now and then. He's got a great voice. I love when he gets right in my ear hole. What does he say? Jackie, darling, you got the most beautiful voice. I was like, oh, my God, honey, Jim's got... Jim, <laughs> Jim, Jim John. Jim, Jim John. John. Like Jingleheimer Schmidt. Jim John Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Dick Harry. Harry Dick. Most positive podcast on planet Earth. Exactly. You nailed it. <laughs> but we go on this hike, and Jackie packed this beautiful picnic, and we're enjoying the sights, but I wanted to see a little bit more. <laughs> Jim, it's never enough. I wanted more sights. It's like, yeah, picnic's cool, but I want reverse cowgirl <laughs> on a boulder <laughs> looking at Mo Valley. Yeehaw! Damn straight, Ashton. I'm a giver. Yes. So there we are. 
Did you feel like king of the world, though, when you're up on Blue Mountain? Yeah, I was glad no one was up there when we got there. Me too. It was cool. And that's where I took full advantage. Yes, he did. Because sometimes I feel bad for Jackie, but then I don't because I'm a pretty good piece of ass. <laughs> What'd you say? You're the best. Am I? Oh, say it again slower. You're the best. Am I in piece the top three? Ass ever. <laughs> I love it. She gives good live people. It's a beautiful thing. I love you. Oh, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> But it is kind of cool. Something about uh, getting naked in nature is pretty cool. We tore it up on that rock, I yeah. gotta say. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, we. I wish I would have had a little handy wipe, though, because <laughs> you left a lot on the rock. <laughs> I, it's like I wanted to clean it up some. You wanted to clean up nature? <laughs> I left it for some vulture. <laughs> I bet you there's a vulture out there that got pregnant for me. Because it went to to sit down on a rock, Uh. and there's probably some weird bird out there that's got my nose. (laughs) Spooch! 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 Instead of Jimbo, there's a Jim bird out there, a breed. (laughs) Please don't come for child support. (laughs) (laughs) If I see a bird with your hair, I think I I could... I know who's who. <laughs> that's right. But for the record, it was, uh, it's kind of like, uh, uh, what do you call when you do like the turkey baster thing? And I didn't have sex with the bird. You basted it? <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you do, honey? No, like when you, when you, when girls get pregnant, but they don't have sex with the person in vitro. Oh. Yeah. How'd you forget that word? I don't know. Jeez, Louise. It, it's, uh, it's what happens on uh, podcast day. <laughs> and uh, so we, we fell in love deeper about yes. Balls Deep. And then we uh, decided, like, it's time to make our descent down. Yes. So we're, we were uh, saying, you know, let's jog it down. It's downhill. Let's get down quick. Well, you can't, you kind of can't help but jog down because it's so steep going down. The momentum takes you. Yes. It takes you pretty good. Yeah. And so we're headed down. Happy as a, happy as a lark. Yep, feeling a lot better. I'm feeling lighter because I just drained my nuts, so I'm uh, <laughs> I'm about a pound lighter. And we're running down the hill. And what did I say to you? We hear something. It's like, what is that? And I turn around and I said, Jackie, hit it! I jumped down to the ground and I followed. And all of a sudden, this swarm of bees. About, uh, oh. it was like a cloud. Oh, that's what it sounded that. like. It was even louder than that, Holy Ashton. Hell. It was like a tunnel. The most bees I've ever seen in the history of my life. Yeah, I've, I've heard some, but I've never seen a swarm like that. No, it was a big, big cloud. Yeah. It was almost like a 1972 El Camino had a, uh, a backfire and <laughs> shot this big cloud of smoke <laughs> behind it. It was that of bees. And we're on the ground as this swarm is flying over us. Yeah, you actually said, Jackie, hit the ground. And when I saw you go down, I was down. I was like, oh, what's happening? And they flew right over the top of us. Is that crazy, Ashton? Have you heard that many uh, bees fly over you? It's crazy, dude. I hope nobody nobody ever has to feel that. But it was pretty much it. No! Get down! (laughs) As now! As now. <laughs> Cheers, gorgeous. Cheer- well, um, it's that time. I'll share yours. Okay. Here we go. We're moving on to our next segment. Jackie's favorite of the show. Is it Burp Wolf? That's right. Fire it up, Ashton. Here we go. For a most excellent adventure. We're very excited. Jackie is kicking my ass. It is seven to one, Jackie. We do something called the Shambong, where we load up with champagne, and we shoot it, and we see who could let out the biggest burp. Are you sure you don't want to go first this time, honey? Do you want me to? I would love you to go to first this time. It's up to you. I'd love to go to third with you, but I'll go first now. You go first. Okay. But I want to try something new. Okay. I want to introduce something, and I want to get the crew involved, too. Listen to this as uh, Jackie and I load up the Shambong for burp. Wars! I want to do a little bargument. I saw this book and it's got like these cool little 
arguments where they to have like conversation at bars. Yeah. So the topic is I shoot Jackie, kick it off as I try to brew up a burp through the shambong. Our bargument yes. for our burp wars is how many dates before it's awkward not to have sex? Huh. How many dates? <laughs> Before, dates. How many dates before it's awkward that you don't have sex? Uh, that was pretty solid. Ashton? It's pretty good. You're giving me a nod. Ah, thinking, I think you might have it, maybe, Russian but I haven't gone say, yet. Yes. That was good. So See? good. I feel like I've been cheating you, baby. I'm pretty proud Going of that first. one. But uh, as I I'm loaded up, say, how many dates before it's awkward not to have sex? Well, I thought when I met you that one would be awkward, so I gave it to you immediately. Thank you. But I'm going to say number three. That's my number two. What? I always thought it was weird. It's like after the third date, Jackie and I are very passionate people. Some of you may judge and say we're fucking whores. But <laughs> after three dates, if you don't have sex, it's kind of weird. I think. Yeah, it's Whether it be weird. all the way or at least some sex. Yeah. You got, I mean, not kissing, but uh, have you ever, what's the longest you made somebody wait? Oh, jeez. And let's go, while you think about it and do your shambong, let's go to the uh, our studio, Ashton and Sean. <laughs> How many dates before it's awkward not to have sex? Oh, three, definitely. Three's a good number, yeah, isn't it? I like that. You should like know that. by then. You know, I have, an, I have an idea for you. Let's hear it. Uh, Holy uh, crap. Uh, Holy uh, shit. Uh, Somebody uh, just clubbed a baby uh, seal. In the I couldn't p- hold it in, Sean. I'm sorry. No, you got to Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> hold. I don't, you don't even have to tell me you won that one. Damn. That one came from the uterus. <laughs> Here's my idea. I think next week. <laughs> okay. You have to drink the sham. What is it? Sham. 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 Bong. Sham. Bongs. Out of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. I read. I heard it. all the liquid go, would go right in. I also heard that uh, Stevie <laughs> Nicks from Fleetwood Mac back in the day had a roadie. At one point, his only job. Was to blow cocaine in her butthole. Jeez. Because it went right to the membrane. What? Uh. And it, uh, I know it's over. Jackie already won. Oh, bless but, his uh, heart. uh. Bless his heart. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that sound effect. That makes the loss even harder when I hear that. I got to be honest. That, uh, that was his job, just to make her feel that Do good. Do we think that's true, though? Because you know you hear bull crap. Didn't somebody say somebody put a gerbil up and blah, blah, blah. Richard Gere. Ah, oh, he's uh, wonderful. I don't believe it. So I heard if you drink alcohol through your butt, you get 10 times drunk. Oh, good Lord. Oh, it, it's like instant. I don't know if we want to do that on YouTube and stuff. your liver. Let's go, <laughs> let's go do that in Vegas in the bathtub again, Jackie. <laughs> we're we're going to so, have... We're going to have spring training and test drive it by ourselves. I don't know. Maybe I'll film it and see what I could do. Ooh, do it. Jackie can pour it in. <laughs> and then I could like, you put some in, fuzzies. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought this was supposed to be the clean show, you guys. Uh, I know. God dang it. Isn't it weird, though? Like Your whole life, you grow up thinking buttholes are yucky, but then you get to a certain age and you're going, I think I want to touch her butthole. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Like my friends Corey and Chad, they say it's almost like putting your tongue on a battery. <laughs> you still do it. Like you get that little shock. It feels good. Yours but isn't like that at all. Tell everybody how my butthole is, Jackie. Why don't you? <laughs> little tainted love as Jackie has the champagne kick in. It tells us about Jimbo's butthole. Do you like my butthole? <laughs> She's licking her lips, party people. This is so awkward. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I've never. We're not really... going to church this weekend. <laughs> 
No, I've okay. never really licked a butthole or done anything <sighs> like that until I was with you. Aww. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know what it is about it. Thank you. You have got to be kidding. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, hairy spider balloon knot. It is not <laughs> crazy ass. <laughs> He's got the tightest little. All right, that's enough, everybody. <laughs> enough, Sean, what were you saying? Enough balloon knot. Because I interrupted talk. you with my burp. Oh, I have no idea. Oh no, he was talking about putting alcohol in her bowl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> we got there. We'll have to have a team meeting about that one. But isn't it weird, though? Like, your whole life, you're, like, told not to do this, and then all of a sudden, one day, you want to touch somebody's butthole? Who told you not to do it? Well, your parents. They, they told you not to touch buttholes? Well, I think I think maybe they didn't want your hand in your pants or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever maybe, told maybe, me not to touch a butthole. Maybe not directly, but you think about it, poop comes out. Well... So it's not an attractive body part. I got to tell you, Jim's got the most, he's got the most. It's so clean, awkward. I'm telling you, he's got the cleanest, most best smell all, all over him. I've never smelled anything weird on him, That's ever. Good. Not good his, news. Not his armpits, not his, not his farts, nothing. Great news for the studio, isn't it? I've, I've never smelled anything <laughs> weird on you. I'm just saying. You're crazy. That's beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> You're welcome. I almost beautiful. feel like it's an infomercial for my bunghole now, <laughs> is what we're talking about. I forgot where we are in the show, but let's move on anyways. Let's see if Jackie knows where we're going. What are we doing next, Jackie? Oh, so we're going to do... <laughs> he said, she said? Nope. <laughs> Close. What in the wide, wide world of web? That's right, everybody. What in the wide, wide world of web is going on? And I found something so funny. I love this guy. I've seen a bunch of his stuff, and I want him to be a guest on our show eventually. But till then, I've shared him on my Facebook. His name is Bob. I hope I'm saying it right. Bob Mennery. Nice. He's a he uh, is a comedian, and I think he used to be a sportscaster somewhere. And he basically does uh, uh, sports announcing for different things. Yeah, but he uses curse words, <laughs> and it's hilarious. This is funny as fuck. This is where you need to grab all your children and listen to the podcast and right now. Oh, no, the wait, wait, Sean, stop there for a second. Stop there for a second. Start it over again. I'm gonna <laughs> set it up better. Uh, <laughs> My bad. My bad. His name is at Bob Mennery. Check him out. He basically takes sports clips or other clips, and he does, like, sports casting announcing if the announcers could swear. Yeah. Oh, you've let me hear a few of it his It is fucking things. hilarious, isn't it? You love it. It's really, really good. It so is funny. Here's an older one that he did where basically it was around Easter time, and a bar fight broke out. And it got real crazy. Go ahead, Sean. Hit it. Looks ugly. And oh, no, the Easter Bunny is coming to town tonight. And look at him joining in on this street fight. Peter, we would have never expected it on the Lord's Day. I believe the Lord shot into heaven on this day. And guess what? The Easter Bunny doesn't give a fuck. And it's pretty bad, though. If you look at this fight, the man that just got the shit kicked out of him is probably never going to get laid because when the girl asks him, Peter, what his most embarrassing moment is, he's going to have to say he got beat up by the fucking Easter Bunny. <laughs> I mean, wow, Peter, this is a first in the booth for me. As you can tell, look at this. The Easter Bunny wants fucking more. He wants to go after the crack. Look at him. He's barking at him. I didn't know buddies could bark as he is barking at the crackhead. I'll tell you what, this is a tough police report to fill out as uh, the police officer, things are now coming to an end. Wow. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> Body bag. Yeah, ma'am. That's Bob hilarious. Bob Mennery. Hilarious. We'd love to have you on this show. You're a very, very funny guy. <laughs> And we will support you always. That's hilarious. But now it's time for our next segment, isn't it, Jackson? Yes, it is beautiful. He said, she said. That's where we reach into the goldfish bowl, if you're watching this. 
And uh, we have friends, uh, just put in a word. And Jackie and I, we try to think of the first thing we think of. And, I'll let you uh, go first. You will. Yeah. I'm going to put out my readers, I think. <laughs> I go to the readers for He Said, She Said. What is the first thing you think of, Jackie, when you hear the word ho? <laughs> I wish to God I had a picture to go with this right now. I think of my mom and her aunts. Why were they? Whoa. I'm going to let you explain that one. I ain't saying shit. I'm bringing the picture next week. Okay, what is it? So remember when Creative Memories was huge? You'd get the books and you'd get together in parties and you'd put together the books and put little... Da, 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 yeah. da. So my mom made me one. And one of the pictures, her and her aunts were in the garden and they had hoes in their hand. <laughs> and the caption was, me and Aunt Gert and Aunt Doing a little hoeing. (laughs) (laughs) Me and your ain'ts doing a little hoeing. I about lost my shit when I saw it. Of course, I never told my mom that. Uh, Doing a little hoeing. Doing a little hoeing. I'm bringing the picture. uh, I'm bringing the book. I'm going to screenshot it and bring it. Yeah. That's hilarious. I think of the group Two Live Crew because they use that in so many of their songs that they used to do. And one of my favorites uh, was a song called We Want Some Pussy. (laughs) And the very first time I heard that song... Guns N' Roses was opening up for Aerosmith, and usually bands will pick uh, a song or a theme music to come up before, and all of a sudden, before Guns N' Roses, uh, before the curtain dropped, before they hit the stage, they played this song that I never heard before uh, by a group called Two Live Crew, screaming, we want some pussy, and I'm looking at my buddy T-Bone, and I'm like going... This is the greatest song ever. <laughs> Do you want pussy? I want pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it louder, people. And one of the lines in it was, oh, here it is. Listen up, people. Somebody say, hey, we want some pussy. Hey, we want some pussy. Say, say what? Hey, we want some pussy. Yeah. Two Live Crew. I got a cassette in my truck to this very day of Two Live Crew. But one of the lines in that is, to all of you bitches and all you hoes, let's have group sex and do the Rambo. Somebody say, hey. I know. I could not believe it. Guns N' Roses came out to that. And I that was the first time I heard it. And uh, when I've done some stand-up, I've come out to that song a few times. Yes, you have. And the people love that song. And you're thinking, oh! oh! And you're thinking, I want to hoe? Yeah, that's right, baby. <laughs> All right, one more word on he said, she said. I guess we got uh, two different uh, experiences when it comes to hoes. That, that one's kind of open, but I didn't Here see it. Here we go. Uh, oh. Oh, boy. This is actually two words. What? But we'll let it go. He said, she said. We reach into the goldfish bowl. We have our friends just write a word on a piece of paper. And we say, what's the first thing we think of? The word right now is tow truck. Tow truck. Tow truck. Um... If I had a broke toe, I wish I had a big old truck. <laughs> Somebody's drunk. That's stupid. <laughs> tow truck, I got to think about, uh, <laughs> You. I hope you've seen them. They've been out there. We got billboards on the 215 and Mill Street. And there's also one at the Welcome to Beaumont sign. Yes. And me and you are by a Trans Am. Yes. A smoking the bandit Trans Am and a tow truck brought that Trans Am to the place we were doing the photo shoot. And that's the first thing I think of Damn. when I hear it. he said she You said. got all the cool you got all well, you the were cool there? stuff. I know, but I ain't thinking about that. I thought my tow broke. I wish I had a truck to get it to the house. <laughs> That's right. You won Burp Wars. It's okay. I'm doing good. And good news. It's time for our next segment. 
Time to get in touch with our inner child. That's right. We're old. We're 50 and fucked. We're in our 50s. <laughs> and what do old people do, Jackie? We reminisce about the old days. We look back and we, we try to back. remember as much as we can. Jackie, why don't you share your childhood memory? What happened? So I remember when I was little, I was with one of my aunts. I can't remember who. Mm-hmm. There was a bunch of us in the car. Right. And we go up to this store, and my aunt parked in front of her. I think it was my great aunt, actually. So it was like my mama's aunt. So yeah. my great aunt. She pulled up, and the manager came out of the store and said, Ma'am, you got to move. You has got to go. Yep. And she said, I was going to buy something from you, but now I ain't. And you came over here on the Mayflower, too. And I thought, what? (laughs) So just for the record. (laughs) I was going to buy something from you, you ugly devil, but now I ain't. (laughs) And you came over here on the Mayflower, too. (laughs) Jackie is Native American. And it was some white guy. And it was some white guy. Yeah. So your great aunt. My great aunt. Was pissed off that, that she, she had, had to move. move. <laughs> and the fact that this cracker <laughs> whose relatives came over on the Mayflower. Yeah. Is the ones making her move. And I just remember. <laughs> the, I got time for that. <laughs> I'll never forget the look on his face. <laughs> Oh, I bet. It's like, came over on the Mayflower. Wait a minute. He was a young fella, too. Yeah. So he probably didn't really know the history or put the two and two together. Right? Yeah. It was <laughs> it was hilarious. So that's one of my memories. All right. That's a funny one. My, my childhood memory with my inner child. I remember in high school. Uh, way late. back in the day. Um, I dated a girl named Jill who uh, was uh, on the other side of the track, so to speak. <laughs> we uh, we lived in a house that didn't have cable TV yet, but she had cable TV, and her mom was the vice president of a bank. Wow. So they, they were well-to-do. And uh, I remember I got invited over for a family dinner, and... Uh, she was inviting all of her banker friends, and I was supposed to join them, too. So uh, I was really nervous, you know, because I'm like, oh, I'm hanging out with all these rich folks. And on the way there, the car got a flat, so I had to fix a flat tire. So I'm late for this dinner already, and I show up, and I got oil and grease all over my hands. I tried to clean up as much as I could. I get there and everybody's almost done with their dinner and I asked if I could use the restroom real quick to clean up a little bit more. So I did and I come back and I sit down at the table. This was in high school. I want to say it was like sophomore year of high school. Yeah. And everybody's almost done and I got this fresh piece of steak. And it wasn't just steak. <laughs> it was filet mignon. <laughs> And I never had filet mignon before. Wow. And just to give you an idea, God rest her soul, my beautiful mom, whenever she cooked steak in the house, she would always burn it a little bit. (laughs) She would put it in the broiler of the kitchen. And mine and my brother's job was to grab her uh, Saturday Night Fever album and, like, (laughs) wave it across the, 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 the smoke detector because... Whenever she cooks steak, it always set it off. So that's a steak I was used to. Yep, there's the sound. (laughs) Jimmy, Jason, grab the album. So we'd have to grab the Saturday Night Fever double album and wave it over the smoke detector to get rid of the smoke so mom could finish up the steaks, you know? (laughs) So that's the kind of steaks I was used to. Ah, uh, me too, beautiful. So I'm back. Okay, go back. We're at this dinner table, and I'm sitting there with this filet mignon steak. Everybody's almost done. And I'm looking around the table, and... Um, uh, you needed something else. Virginia, the mother who is hosting it, and uh, she goes, um, James, are you looking for something? And I said... I said, yeah. I said, where's the ketchup? <laughs> and she's looking at me, looking at her banker friends, looking at the filet mignon. <laughs> and she goes, uh, 
That's good steak. <laughs> what the fuck? Get out. <laughs> so I look straight at her eye socket and I say, well, then I'll take the... <laughs> <laughs> so she says, that's good steak, James. I look right at her and I say, well, then I'll have the good ketchup. <laughs> And then there was like <laughs> silence for a little bit, and then everybody laughed. It was like so awkward and funny as all hell at the same oh, time. Oh, love it. I'll never forget that story. But now it's time for our next segment, one of my favorites. Radio words you can't say on the list. That's or- right. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, sobriety check, Ashton. Most positive podcast on planet Earth. Yes. The most positively positive podcast on planet Earth. It's the Jimbo and Jackie Show. Third time's a charm. Thank you for subscribing. If you ain't, please do it on your favorite platform and tell your friends to do it too yes. and download it. But basically, these are words. Word, words you can't say on the radio, right? There you go. Is that it? My buddy works for a public radio station, and uh, he got me a list. Of words they can't say on the radio, but we can say it on our fucking podcast, right? Because that's they a, can suck it. That's right. We got eighty-one things, and each week Jackie picks two words. I use them in my Casey Kasem voice, and she has to use them in a sentence. So here we go. Let me do my intro. Of all right, here we are with the radio list. Keep your gland. These are words you can't say on public radio. But you can on the Jimbo and Jackie show. Say it, baby. Keep your gland in her hand and your pole in her hole. Jackie, Keep pick your gland one through hand. eighty-one. Oh. Pick a word. I'll pick number forty. Number forty. Uh oh. You have to remind me if I've said and, that number. And then Jackie's gonna have to use it in a sentence. Here and we I go. said I'm gonna try and. Uh, be a do a really clean version of whatever it is, but well, now with this, you can't. Okay, whatever. All right, <laughs> I'm Casey Kasem, and here's some of the words you can't say on public radio, but you can on the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third number, time's a charm. Number 40 on the charts is hard on. <laughs> Jacqueline's gonna use it in a sentence right now, Jim. You had the biggest heart on ever on Saturday night. Hi-oh! Hello! When we were in Vegas on the balcony? Y- yeah, you really did. It reached out to you pretty you good. Get, you get hard ons. Yes. But holy crap, it was out and up and. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh! s- well said! <laughs> 50 and not so fucked, I guess, still being no. able to do that. And actually, we just started taking testosterone again today, so woo! You're ready. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can recreate Saturday night tonight, girl! All right, because it doesn't take that long, I don't think, to get in your system. All right, Jackie. Pick the next word that oh, you can't say on the radio. Are we done with that one? No, we got, well, unless you want to keep talking. Go ahead. I ain't going to rush you. <laughs> I guess maybe I want rush you to end the show. So we can get that heart on in action. But here we go. I'm Casey Kasem. I'm going to do number 50. Number 50. 50 and fucked. How they feeling? Here we go. (laughs) Hi, I'm Casey Kasem. The number 50 word you can't say on the radio is... Jack off. (laughs) Masturbate. (laughs) I like it sometimes when we lay in bed next to each other and we just masturbate. What that big old wolf pussy? You come- <laughs> but you didn't say jerk off. Oh, I thought you said masturbate. Well, I, I was just telling the audience. The word was jerk off. Well, I like when we lay in bed next to each other sometimes and jerk off. That's fabulous. I'm Casey Kasem, <laughs> here with the words you can't say on radio, but you can say on the Jimbo and Jackie Did show. Did I get it? You nailed it. <laughs> So remember, folks, keep your gland in her hand and your pole in the hole. That's right. I'm Casey Kasem. Keep your gland in her hand and a pole in her hole. Well, I hate to do this, Jackie, but guess what? (laughs) 
Is it over? I think episode nine is done. I think that we need to do, we need to call it practices until the end and then start the show. You think so? I think we need to start the show right now. All right. (laughs) Episode nine is in the funny papers, mama. (laughs) We got to go home. Our crew did a great job. Uh, We got to thank you. And please, if you haven't done it yet or you want to urge your friends, please. Go to your favorite platform to subscribe to the Jimbo and Jackie Show. Third time's the charm. And download the podcast. What did we learn today on episode nine? What sticks out to you? Uh, I learned that your wiener gets really hard sometimes. (laughs) 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 Oh, yes. I learned that we got to get out of here because... Jackie's drunk. (laughs) Yeah, we're ready to have some damn good times. Episode 9 is in the books. We love you guys. And what I learned is that I'm not sure I want to eat chicken nuggets anymore. It makes me want them more. There's 40 ingredients in chicken McNuggets. Enjoy each and every one of them, whatever sauce you please. And what did you learn? I learned that I really love going to Vegas with you. (laughs) And even if we only wash a little bit of ourselves, it's always fun to go out with you. Aw, I love you, beautiful. Uh, You're you're a fun freaking time. I love you, Jackson. Thank you for being my third wife. Uh, There'll never be another. Thank you very much for listening to episode nine of the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times a charm. Thank you, crew, for the awesome drops, the awesome video. We love you guys. Keep the love alive, and let's keep the positivity going. What do you say? Yep, and keep your gland in his hand. It is definitely the most positively podcast on planet Earth. A do, baby. Say goodnight, Jackie. (laughs) Good night, (laughs) y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya.